Well, you know, that's unfortunately, you know, if I was a big star, that would be all over the news. Mm -hmm. Ticket for O'Brien. Boo. Yeah. Uh, but it's not. The big story that everybody's been talking about is this big, uh, huge media story mm -hmm. that I'd say the last, you know, I'd say the last 24 hours has been huge. Uh, Disney versus Time Warner Cable. Yeah, you can't get uh, you can't get ABC. Right, exactly. Here, I think they just worked it out or something they? so that people oh, okay. can get all those fine ABC shows. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrible. Now, <laughs> anyway, but that's what people have been gabbing about. Right. But actually, tonight, we're not going to talk about that. I think a lot of people have tuned in tonight. Oh, I wonder what cohen has got to say about this ABC thing. Sure. Well, we're going to talk about a much bigger story tonight, the puppet versus puppet lawsuit. Now, I think a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, this story is unbelievable, but it's true. You can't make this stuff up. We're not that good. <laughs> Our beloved friend and frequent contributor to the show, Triumph, the insult comic dog. There he is right there. He's beloved. Mm -hmm. And frequent. Yeah, he's, he's beloved and frequent. Triumph is being sued by Pets.com and their corporate symbol, the Pets.com sock puppet. Oh. Wow. Yeah. That boo sign works. <laughs> Anyway, be because of legal reasons, this has been going on for a couple of days, but for legal reasons, we couldn't talk about it until now, you know? But here it is, folks. We're going to give you a quick update on the Pets.com versus Triumph lawsuit, just so everyone's up to speed. A while ago, Triumph accused the Pets.com puppet of ripping them off. And this made the Pets.com puppet angry, apparently, and he sued Triumph. I'm not kidding. This really happened. His company, his corporation, sued Triumph for defaming his character by saying that, you know, he was a ripoff. Mm -hmm. And actually, I have a copy of the real lawsuit right here. I did not make this up. You have to hear this. It's, uh, this is the uh, lawsuit. It alleges that Triumph is a plaintiff. Triumph. <laughs> I swear to God, this is real. It, I'm not making this up. Plaintiff uh, alleges that Triumph is a rubber dog, black and brown in color, that wears a gold bow tie, often smokes a cigar, <laughs> and interacts with animals and with humans through rude and often vulgar comments and physical actions and or attacks. That's... <laughs> right. Now... That's what they say about Triumph. Then they, this is what they say, they say that's how Triumph is as opposed to the sock puppet who is an advocate of pets, the voice of pets, and often interacts and communicates directly with other animals or with humans in order to convey to pet owners how pets feel about various pet-related issues. The regular Mother Teresa. <laughs> yeah. He's helping people. Well, Folks, they're entitled to their opinion, but now it is, it is my turn. I've, I've remained silent for a few days because our shady lawyer told us to, but it now <laughs> it's my turn to set the record straight. First of all, Triumph made his first appearance on our show over three years ago. The Pets.com puppet just came along last summer, so clearly Triumph was around first. You don't have to be a mm, brain scientist to that out. In fact, that point was made a few months ago by a highly respected news program where Triumph also talked about other acts that have ripped him off over the years. Take a look. I understand he's not the first performer who's borrowed ideas from your act. Yes, I've been around, Stuart. Believe me, the internet. I, I've got crust around my butt older than the internet. <laughs> Everyone's ripped me off, man. Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog is stolen from you. Yes. That filthy green puke face. He has no scruples. He's, plus he's queer. That's, that's heady charges. You know, I also understand Howdy Doody. Yes, Howdy Doody. He saw me on the Ed Sullivan show in 59. He was trying to broaden his audience. Very sad. You know what? And that poor bitch got splinters from that incident. Very painful, very painful. That is, that is painful. I didn't realize that. Also, I believe the, uh, the entertainer Harry Connick Jr. Yes, Harry Connick. You know, he says it's an homage. He's full of poop. By the way, the dog in that picture is a guy. <laughs> Why does he go out of his way to point those things out? <laughs> that grassy dog. By the way, queer. Now, now, Triumph isn't alone. He's not alone in thinking that he was ripped off. Some people who work here think so, and so do a lot of fans of this show. But 
uh, well, people have been asking for a couple of days, how do I feel about this whole thing? And like I said, I had to, you know, remain silent, but now I can go on the record. This is very tough for me to say, but Triumph, and I love Triumph, mm -hmm. been a friend of mine for a long time, Triumph, you were wrong. I, I, sorry, gasp. Oh, what? <laughs> I think you need to apologize to Pets.com immediately because even though the Pets.com dog didn't appear until last summer, a full three years after your first of many appearances on Late Night, still the Pets.com puppet is clearly not a ripoff. And I have proof. Take a look at this. Now, as you can see from this video of Triumph in action from over a year ago, the microphone Triumph the dog puppet holds is black, whereas the Pets.com dog's microphone is always white. There is no similarity at all. The handheld microphones of the dog puppets are different colors. Here's more evidence that Triumph's charges are way out of line. Now, while Triumph had a tug of war with the dog over a hot dog, the Pets.com dog is clearly having a tug of war over a hamburger. This is completely different. Not convinced yet? Try this on for size. When it comes to getting busy, with other dogs, Triumph is always the pitcher. Whereas the Pets.com dog is always the catcher. No similarities at all. And finally, and finally, Triumph likes to sing with some obscure late night host. Let it snow, let it snow, let it Whereas the sock puppet has his own preferences for who to jam with. Babe, I got, I got you, babe. I got, I got you, babe. <laughs> well, we're not saying that Triumph invented singing to humans. We just wanted to show the Pets.com puppets, you know, sort of questionable, questionable taste. taste. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> In the meantime, Triumph has been receiving a lot of support, especially from the other characters on our show. Just last night, Fox News was discussing this case, and our popular character, the Masturbating Bear, made an appearance. He made his own appearance on behalf of Triumph to defend him. Here's a clip. He's got seven years. He made everybody laugh the other night. Let's just get on with it. She loved it. You should have seen her hooping and laughing in that place. She laughed. She thought it was she very funny. She thought it was a guest very good point. I'm glad he was there to mm -hmm. do that. And uh, right now, another one of our characters would like to voice his support of Triumph. Here he is, a character who combines the classic sensibilities of a 1950s robot with the dynamic flair of a 1970s street pimp. Please welcome our good friend, Pimpbot 5000. <laughs> So, a uh, long time no see, Pimpot. Yo, white bread. I'm doing fine and cherry wine. My hose is all health code compliant and my crotch be bigger than the Iron Giant. Uh, that, that's great, Pimpot. Got new software to last longer and a new super hoe named Dava Conga. <laughs> Great, Pimpot. Nice rhyme. But I, I thought you were here to actually talk about Triumph. Let me tell you, nothing better happened to hurt my man Triumph's wallet. He be my best customer. Women, dog bitches, reptiles, all kind of freaky stuff. That horny dog paid for my brand new cherry red Buick Riviera. Okay, well, thank you, Pimpot. Thank you very much. Pimpot 5000 weighing in. Now... Finally, folks, the big question that's on everybody's lips is where is Triumph? He's been unreachable since this whole story broke, and the word is that he's really scared and he's holed up somewhere until the whole mess blows over. Well, actually, we just found out before the show that Inside Edition has tracked Triumph down. They got footage of him in a hotel somewhere in Philadelphia. We have that footage. Enjoy.
That guy's got the light. <laughs> Now, we, we, while we were showing that footage, uh, we heard a rumor that Triumph is going to appear here on our show on Thursday to comment on all of this. So stay posted. You've got to keep watching this week because we'll have more on this story. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, though, very cool to have him with us, Alan Houston here from the New York Times.